There he is there. Still got it. What's going on YouTube? My Larks is today. We're back from a player review. This time on Gelson Martin's Fantasy Foot card. It's been upgraded. It's had a nice little plus one. The card, it was already very, very good. It cost me 500k when I bought the card. I bought it just before it came out of pack. It's now around 620k and let's find out the reason why. Obviously, he's still higher, higher. Nothing's changed, obviously. Five-star skill moves, three-star weak foot. I don't normally like people with three-star weak foot, but I make an exception for this guy. So I've played over 100 games of him. I've got quite a decent record as well. He plays, plays in my main team as well. So as you can see now, he's got 99 pace, literally everything 99. Shooting's been improved as well, so it's had a nice boost. 98 shot power. Most shots do just fly in the back of the net. Obviously, I'm going to keep the data on him as well. I feel that's going to be the best chemistry style for him. Boosts his shooting, absolutely maximizes that out. His passing as well, boosts his vision and short passing. He's got very good curve. His long passing ain't that great, but you don't need to worry. Again, looking at the dribbling, 99 agility, 99 balance. 90 ball control, 98 dribbling, it's composure as well, being, that being up to 88 is a massive, massive plus for me. 101 one -on -one with a goalkeeper, big pressure moments, he seems to deliver nowadays, it's a very, very good card. One thing I do want to quickly touch on as well is his defending, I know it's only 62, but for a right midfielder it's not too bad, sometimes you might want to try him in a 4-3-1-2. I feel like this is a very good formation to try and like use his defensive abilities. Obviously, like I said, it is only 60s. Obviously, you probably could put a shadow on him as well because he's got such high shot power. Nine times out of ten, the ball does fly in the back of the net. Physical stats as well are quite good for this card. Obviously, 99 stamina, 87 jumping, 79 aggression, 64 strength. So like I said, again, because of the work rates and how good he is in game, I feel like going box to box in a, in a not not a box to box midfielder, but playing right side of a centre mid in a, in a four three one two is going to work well. I normally play four four two in game, nine times out of ten. Being honest with you, I do play him on the right, but we'll try him on the left hand side as well just to try them finesses, just to see how good they are. So we'll take him into a game of rivals and let's see how we get on. Gelson's in, turns a defender, just can't finish though. Great little bit of elastic dribbling there. As you can see, so agile. Again, always making them runs in behind. Dinks the goalkeeper. Just, oh, he, it goes in the back of the net anyway. But as you see, because of the high, high work rates, constantly making runs in behind. Great finish as well. We've got a nice little one too. As you can see, Gelson's off. Can get the ball through to him. There you go. Makes the run inside the defender. Can he finish? Not this time. Again, paces. Just leaves people behind as you see. Look. Left a man behind. Picks out a nice pass as well. There he is there. Still got it. Finishes as well. Got such good shot power. Every shot more or less goes in with him. There you go. He's got the defensive work rates as well because he's high high. Always tracking back as well. And he's decent defensively as well. Again, lovely pace, great running behind. Sends the defender. And again, picks out Mbappe. I just can't get the finish though. Again, as you can see on the bottom right here, just on the radar, Gelson constantly making runs in behind. Puts a great ball in the box. There we go. 1 0. All from Gelson. Again, like I said about Gelson, he can do both sides. He can attack, he can defend as well. Great bit of skill. Inside the defender finishes as well. Great play. Again, just shifts away from the defender. Outside of the foot shot as well. It's the Gelson Martin show. What a player, by the way. It's had a very, very... Even though it's only a one-plus upgrade, it's done him a lot of favours. Again, another tackle from Gelson Martin. That's a great ball. Look at that pick out. Straight to Pele. He's away from one, two. They just can't stop him at the moment. Now 
Like I said, it's all just left stick dribbling. Trying to work the finesse. Oh, that's a great save. It's away from the defender. Working a finesse opportunity, and it's a great finish. That's his hat trick. Absolutely unstoppable. He got absolutely breezes past. Oh, should have finished. Again, he'll work back, do his defensive duties. able to start another little attack as well again he's already in behind defenders don't really know how to stop him keeps the ball on play picks out Mbappe there we go it's a nice little assist oh, he's gone round them all oh he's just put it in the top of the net what a player. Again, he's just so quick. So quick. Now he's got the 99, 99 pace. Picks out his mate Neymar. And that will finish the game. What a ball. So, as we see from the footage, Gelson. Obviously, he was already good before the upgrade. He's even better now. So quick. He's not able to be caught. The shot power, like I said, 9 times out of 10. Even if the shot isn't accurate, as long as it's on target, 9 times out of 10, it is in the back of the net. His passing's really good. His dribbling's an absolute joke, as you see the left stick dribbling. Now, his finesses as well, again, are very good. He's got the 99 curve. His long shot's at 87, with that plus 5 upgrade up to 92. So, it's a very, very good card to get him. The card costs around 620k, so it's not a very cheap card. But, like I said, it's a, probably a card you're probably going to want to get in your team if you can fit this guy in. So, to, for me, like I said, I really like this card. The only thing that lets it down is the freestyle weak foot, but he's literally the most meta card you can use in this game. 99 pace, 99 agility, 99 stamina. What more can you really want? 98 shot power. Like I said, with a dead eye on him as well, maximizes that shooting out to more or less 95, 96 rated shooting. So, for me, what else are you really going to want from this card? Like I said, passing's really good as well. 99 curve. He's got 87 crossing already. 99 short pass, 99 vision. What more can you probably want from this? Some of you might want to put a finisher on him just to maximize out that dribbling as well. But for me, he's already got 99 agility and balance. You don't need to worry about that at all. Obviously, with the player traits as well, he's got the outside of the foot shot, speed dribbler and flair. So, again, he's even got a different dynamic. Obviously, I know he hasn't got the weak foot. But he does have the outside of the foot shot again, which obviously makes up for the freestyle weak foot. Now, if I'm going to give Gelson a rating out of 10, I'm definitely going to give this guy a 9.5. Like I said, if he had the four star weak foot, it'd be a 10. And do you know what? It should really be a 10 because he can potentially get another plus two on all of his stats. So that, that shooting could be 92. It's passing 88, 97 dribbling, 79 physical. So it is a very, very good card. Like I said, it depends on your team. I really like this type of winger in my team. He's pacey, makes runs in behind, he runs back, he makes tackles. He does everything, you know, like you can mix it up. You can play him in a centre mid. If you're, if, if you're losing, you need a little bit of something else in midfield. Like I said, if you are going to play him in midfield, play him in a 4-3-1-2 on the right or left-hand side of midfield. He will constantly just keep working up and down that pitch, just being offering something different to somebody else in, in, in game anyway. Like I said, I really enjoy this card. 9.5 for Gelson Martins. What a card. But that is all for today's video. Thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe, comment. Run the road to 1,000 subscribers. If you're looking to make more coins on FIFA, looking for general FIFA chat, or just looking for, for ways to improve your team, join my FIFA Trader server group. The link is in the description below. It's free to join. It's on Discord. So make sure you go and check it out. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time.